Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the factorial of a number and then we're going to write a program to calculate the factorial of a number using the iterative solution and then the recursive solution. For example, if we want to find the factorial of the number 4, then it's just basically 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, which gives you 24. Now, how about 6? Well, you guessed it, it's just 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6, which gives you 720. Now, how to write a program to calculate the factorial? The first step is to have a total variable, which we set to 1. The next step is to use a for loop. So let's say we want to calculate the factorial of 4, then from the second number here until less than 5, meaning from 2 to 4 inclusively. And don't worry, I'll draw an example to explain. For every number i, we're just going to multiply it to the total. We're going to start off with the total of 1. So we're just going to write t1, but it means total, which is 1. Now, from i is equal to 2 to i is equal to 4 inclusively, so starting at i is equal to 2, then what do we do here? Well, we take the total multiplied by i. So the total is 1, we multiply by 2. The 1 times 2 gives you 2. This is our new total. Now we go to i is equal to 3. And what is t going to be? Well, we take the total multiplied by i. So the total is 2, 2 multiplied by 3 gives you 6, and then i is equal to 4. And then you guessed it, the total would just be 6 times 4, which gives you 24. And that is the answer to factorial of 4. Let's write the code for our factorial function. We define our factorial function, which takes in a value of n. There are no factorial of negative numbers, so if they enter like a negative number, the user enters a negative number, we just simply turn it into a positive number. So n is equal to the absolute value of n. Then we set the total equal to 1 from i in the range starting at 2 until n inclusively. But in Python, you write it like this. So this right here means from 2 to n inclusively. We multiply i into the total. So total multiply equals i. And then at the end, we return the total. Let's test it. So we want to find the factorial of 4, and the answer should be 24. And as you can see, the program produces the correct output. The first step to writing any recursion is to draw a recursion tree. And let me show you how to do it. This function will call a different function, and I'll show you why this works in a second. But basically, we call another function called factorial recursive version number 2. And it is going to have three parameters. So it's going to have parameter 2, it has number 4, and then the total, which is 1. So what is the first parameter? Well, remember, we have a for loop going from i is equal to 2 to i is equal to 4, remember? So this will be the i value, and this is the number that we want to find the factorial of. And then the number 1 is simply the total. So the total at the very beginning always starts with the number 1. Then this function will call itself again because it is recursion. So it's going to call on the same function. And this time we're going to increase the i number. So 2 becomes 3. The number 4 stays the same. How about the total? Now we have to take total times i, right? So the total is 1. We have to times it by i, which is 2. So 1 times 2. And therefore, 1 times 2 is going to give us 2. And then this function will call on itself again. We increment the i, so now 3 becomes 4, the number 4 stays the same. And how about the total? Well, this time we have to multiply by 3, right? So we multiply by 3, so we get the total, which is 2, we multiply by 3, which is i, right? So 2 times 3 gives us 6. And then this function calls on itself again. We increment this number, so now this becomes 5. The number 4 stays the same. And how about the total? Well, we still have to multiply by i. So 6 times 4 gives us 24. And we know that we multiply by 4. And as you can see, this completes the recursion because this number 5 is now larger than 4. This tells us that we have completed the recursion. And all we have to do is just return the number 24. So this returns 24. And it goes up the recursion tree, up here it's going to be 24, and then it goes up, so this one is going to be 24, 
it goes up, then this one is 24. And then lastly, the very top is going to give out the result, which is 24. Now let's write the recursive factorial. So we define factorial recursive. And so this is our recursive function and we take in the value of n. And like I said before, if the user mistakenly enters in a negative number, we simply turn it into a positive number. Now we need to add more parameters into our recursive function. So return factorial recursive to, and this time we have three parameters. So two, n, and then one. Then we have to define this one. So it will be define factorial recursive to. The first parameter is the i value in the loop, remember, and then n stays the same. And then we have our total parameter. What is the base case? Well, the base case is that when i is larger than n, we return the total as seen in the recursive tree. So simply, if i is larger than n, we return the total. Else, we multiply i into the total. So that would be new total is equal to total times i. And we're just going to keep it inside a new variable called new total. And then we recurse again. So return factorial recursive to we have i plus 1, so we increment the i value, we keep n the same, and then we just simply pass in our new total. Let's test it. So let's find the factorial recursive of 4, and the answer should also be 24. And as you can see, it produces the correct output. And that is basically it for today. In the next video, I will show you how to find the sum of a number. So let's say if we want to find the sum of 4, then it would just be 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is 10. So it's very similar to this factorial lesson and I'm going to show you how to do this using a for loop and also how to do it using recursion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit like and also subscribe if you want to buy me coffee for free. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.